Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, the old captain here, and it is glorious hat, and I don't have any of the placards that um, go in it normally, and the reason I'm wearing the hat is because it's snowing. So I'm like, why is the rain so hard? And I look, I'm like, oh, because it's fucking snow. It's that pelty snow, like miniature hail. I am in fucking November. Anyway, we have a video request. If you have requests, it doesn't have to be video. It could be email, very private, because actually we have been getting a lot of private emails, and it's... It, 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 I, I, for you guys who've already consulted me on the private, I feel sorry for you. I, I really do. Not pity, but I mean, I'm, I'm sorry that life has hit you that hard. But these were obviously of some nature of um, questions you want to be private. But go to assholeconsulting.com. <clears throat> Send me your problems. Send me your money. This goes for the high school kids. Who the me again. And they're like, surprise, I charge them. I don't know where they got the idea. I wouldn't because I always talk about it. Uh, but go to assholeconsulting.com and give me your fucking money. Dear Aaron, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. By the way, gloriousHat.com. You can go to gloriousHat.com. Dear Aaron, hello again. I appreciate your help from the last time. Here's another problem that I'm going to tell you. My current mother, ha how do you have a current mother? I mean your mother. My current mother. This week? No, next week. Uh, has been divorced from my father for 15 years ago and currently lives with my aunt and uncle. She only has her GED, is considered college a few times, but doesn't have the transportation or funds to get a degree. My uncle is an abusive asshole and has been a terrible father to his own children. Currently, my mother is working at a grocery store and has an opportunity to get a full-time position from the assistant manager. She pays rent, food, and some of the bills in the house and doesn't seem to be able to save money so that she can move out of the house. What advice can you give to my mother so that she can move out and be able to live by herself without having to ask and rely on others to take care of her? So I, I kind of poked around. I said, okay, well, give me a little bit more advice. Like, why is she living at home with the uncle? What, why does she have dad? Is she paying for other children, medical bills? He says, my mother does not have any dependents living in the house besides paying expenses to take care of her pets. She does pay child support to some other dead ex -beat, uh, deadbeat ex-husband that she ne neglected to pay back and cannot leave the country. Right, why is she trying to leave the country? Is this another immigrant thing? Is this another, like, hey, let's just let everybody into the world? I know we hold, you're, you're adhering to the American standard, but is it just like only one in five of the immigrants do? And ah, fuck it, this kind of shit results... I think she pays for antidepressant medication. I can assure you that she's trapped living there due to financial reasons because she absolutely hates my uncle. I would go visit and, and, and every day my aunt and uncle would complain over money issues. She lives in a town that is very pricey, by the way. I, and I don't believe it's an expensive town to live in. It's very expensive. I've been there frequent, many times. If you're in that area, let me know. We'll, we'll go get a cigar or something. <clears throat> I think she filed for bankruptcy due to not repaying credit card debt she owed. She hasn't had much opportunity to save money. I hope this answers your question. And uh, it turns out she's 51. I ha okay, here's, here's the thing. I have advice for her, but it's going to fall on deaf ears because this is an old woman now. And she has not gotten her shit together. She is working part-time at a grocery store and lives with your uncle. And the you know how do how does she get more money so she doesn't live at, uh, doesn't have to live with the uncle? <gasps> hmm. Maybe be like real adults and work full time. I know, I know, I know. You're only a fucking degenerate piece of shit. Couldn't get your fucking high school diploma. Filed for bankruptcy. Spat out children from multiple. You're the fucking epitome of scum. You're stupid. No, I'm sorry to my client. I, I, I hate, I can't. I'm an asshole. I gotta be truthful. Your mom's a fucking idiot. You should learn from her in a reverse way to not do. This is one of those people who, you know, sometimes it dawns on you that your only real purpose on this life is to serve as a warning to others. That's your mom. To, but, I mean, what... It, you guys don't know that it would be get a full-time job and then on top of it get another job? I mean, she, does, she doesn't have any dependents. She's got her pets, okay? So it's not like she's got a lot going on. Why doesn't she get a full-time job? Yes, go full-time with the grocery store. And then on top of it, get another fucking part-time. What is she going to do? What does she got? She got something important going on in her life? She's pissed away half a century. 
I mean, then maybe she could actually start earning her keep in society. Maybe she could she could salvage the remaining Lord knows how many years she's got left. 30? So the remaining third last of her life, even though she's old, and it's pretty much over, and no guy's going to touch her? Maybe now she could... I mean, she lives in a great area. Don't get me wrong. That's a fun area. So she could... She, she won't finish first. She won't even finish and, and have... But at least she could maybe finish strong. See, the problem with girls like her, women, people... It, it, this is these solutions are not that hard. She's just a lazy, stupid fuck and doesn't want to do it. So it's a psychological issue. And I'm sure she's on her anti-med. She's talked to a therapist, probably at my expense. You and I probably paid for it. We subsidized her somehow, no doubt about it. But if, if she's so dumb that she can't figure out, maybe I ought to get another job to get out of it. She, she hates work and is so lazy so much that she, she'll tolerate your abusive uncle. Spreading lanes for that. So there's there's obviously no desire or compunction on this woman's part to actually go and change her life. It's like these guys, you know, oh, we got to worry about the homeless. You know most of the homeless choose it, right? It's not like, oops, I just became homeless one someday. I mean, you really got to work at it. You got to alienate all your friends. You got to alienate all your family. You got to play not be able to work up enough to, to at least afford like a, a shitty ass dive, you know, month, uh, uh, weekly rate hotel. I mean, it is, it's real, you gotta really, you gotta have mental problems is, is the other way to, you know, where you, you just can't function, I understand that. But these people choose it, and you, apparently this is the life your mom has chosen. So instead of touchy-feely, oh, do you need therapy? Yeah, fuck you, lady! Quit being a fucking parasite on society! Why don't you try, here, here, try it the old school American way. Work for a fucking living, quit feeling sorry for yourself, and, and actually live up to the standards that this country was founded. How's that? How's that? You, hey, you've tried everything else. You tried everything else. So specifically to my client, I, I don't think she'll listen. I really don't. A woman at 51 um, doesn't connect two and two. Shit, doesn't connect one and one. I only work part time. Should I take the full time job so I get? Yes. <laughs> and so my point is. We, we could give her the, the very clear and obvious answers, these simple single-digit mathematical answers, these, these 1 plus 1 equals 2 type answers. It's whether she's going to heed it because she, she just, I don't know, lazy, mental, I don't know, I don't care. I'm just sick and tired that I've likely paid for this person. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, that, yeah, those kids didn't receive a dime in government. Yeah, she, she's a strong, single, independent one, right. So, I, I'm sorry, here, here's for you, though, here's the... It ain't your fault, okay? This, some people are, are beyond saving. You can't save them. So, you know, say, Ma, get a full-time job, blah, blah, blah. But you're a kid. You should not be in the position of the parent trying to get your mom to work full-time and support herself. I mean, this is... It, it, and, and don't take any pity or shame. I mean, don't blow her off either, you know. Just kind of like, Mom, here's what I recommend. And if she doesn't follow, don't be... But don't feel bad. And then don't feel bad if she still is in this shitty-ass position. I mean, it, 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 it's beyond your control. So I'm sorry, but not all parents are like June and Ward Cleaver and actually, you know, where, where you're like looking up to them and admiring them and, and learning. They don't need your help. You know, they actually have, <laughs> I know baby boomers are a foreign one. You actually help your children, not the other way around. I <laughs> know it's just your parents. Kids are kind of dependent on you. You not dependent on the kids. I, crazy. Oh, so I'm sorry, kid. That's all I got. The, the more important thing about this is, is for you to not have any guilt. No guilt whatsoever. Okay? And don't don't beat your head. In. Don't don't ram your head into a wall over this. Just try it, Mom. Here it is. Here's what you got to do. I don't care if you do it or not. And then, and then that's all you can do. So best of luck. Toodles.